Keywords in multiplication and division word problems. What are keywords? Keywords are like clues that help us decide how to solve a word problem. Certain words might hint that you need to multiply or divide. However, be careful with keywords. You still need to read the problem carefully and think about what is happening to figure out how to solve it. Don't rely on keywords alone. Here are some keywords that might suggest you need to multiply or divide. Multiplication keywords include times, product, times as many, doubled, multiplied by, or groups of. Division words might be split evenly, share evenly, divided by, quotient, into groups, or divvy up. Let's see if we can find some keywords in this word problem. Miranda rode her bike four miles today. Joan rode her bike six times as many miles as Miranda. How many miles did Joan ride her bike today? I see the keywords times as many. That to me means that I should multiply. Times as many usually means multiplication. Donald has nine cupcakes. If Donald shares the cupcakes evenly between three people, how many cupcakes will each person get? Shares evenly. Those are division words. It means he's dividing up the cupcakes between those three people. Shares evenly usually means to divide. Mrs. Barnes has 30 students in her class. If she puts her 30 students into six groups, how many students will be in each group? Do you see any keywords here? Into groups. That usually means to divide, but also if we think about what Miss Barnes is doing, she's dividing up her 30 students into groups. Into groups usually means to divide. Jim the baker put three cups of sugar into his chocolate cake. If Frank the baker doubled the amount of sugar, how much sugar did Frank use? Hmm. Doubled. Doubled means times two. That's a multiplication word. Five brothers are given $100 by their grandmother for Christmas. If the brothers split the money evenly, how much money will they each get? Here we have split evenly, which just like share evenly usually means to divide. Seven groups of people visited the aquarium on Saturday. If there were 14 people in each group, how many people visited the aquarium? Each group, groups of. So we have seven people in each group. Those words suggest that we need to multiply. Five people are playing cards. There are 52 cards in a deck. When the dealer divvies up the cards between the five players, how many cards will each player get? divvies up. You can almost see the word divide in the word divvy. Divvy basically means to divide. What is the quotient of 456 and 4? Quotient. That's a funny sounding word. Quotient is actually what you call the answer to a division problem. So quotient, if you're finding a quotient, you're always going to be dividing. What is the product of 17 and 23? Product is what you call the answer to a multiplication problem. So if you're being asked to find the product, you need to multiply. Remember, using keywords can be helpful, but make sure you're also thinking about what the problem is asking and whether or not your answer makes sense. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with this video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.